Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week five assignment of the course introduction to machine learning. So friends, uh, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and share this within your WhatsApp student groups so that it will spread as much possible to many many number of students and most of them will be benefited. I hope. So guys, uh, please definitely like the video if you got benefited through our channel in any way and please share that video along with uh, the subscription of our channel. So please watch the video till the end guys. If I make any changes in between the video, you may not be able to note those changes if you skip the video. So don't skip the video and watch full video. So first question guys, in the week 5. So guys, these are completely my probable solutions. I tried my best to give you the most possible solutions. So if there are any changes to be made, please bring it to my notice guys. And if I uh, get to know anything, I will definitely update it in the comment section. So before the final submission moment, once again, uh, refer to the video guys for changes. I will mention it in the comment section. So first question guys. So the perceptron learning algorithm is primarily designed for what? So for first question, the probable answer that I have got is fourth option guys linearly separable classification tasks so mark fourth option as the probable solution for first question now moving on to the second question So second one, the last layer of ANN is linear for what and softmax for what? So we know that it, it is linear for regression, right? So it is linear for regression and it is given in two options and uh, the last layer of nn is softmax for what so it is softmax for classification so the answer is option c guys so the most probable solution is third option now let's uh, move on to the third question now So third question, consider the following statement and answer true or false with corresponding reason. So what is the statement given guys? The class output outputs of a classification problem with a ANN cannot be treated independently. So uh, according to me, what I have got, it is completely true. But they have given two reasons for true due to cross entropy loss function and other one is due to softmax activation so out of these two which is the correct one guys so as i have got as i have got, uh, collected the information so it could be option a guys true due to the cross entropy loss function so i am going with first option for the third question now let's move on to the fourth question guys so fourth question given below is a sample ANN with two inputs x1 and x2 uh, which generally range in between 0 and 1 and their edge weights are minus 3 plus 2 and plus 2 right so here is the given condition for h and so they have given a function right and they are asking which of the following logical functions does it compute so for fourth question i am not exactly sure for this particular question so for fourth question it could be possibly fourth option guys and get i mean and logical function so guys if you are know this exactly please uh, 
give your opinion in the comment section with proof so that every viewer every one of our viewer can, can be able to note that so as of mine uh, my feeling it could be option 4 guys so I am not exactly sure for this question so if you differ with my solution let uh, please correct it in the comment section guys positively so now let's move on to the fifth question so fifth one using the notations used in class evaluate the value of the neural network with a 331 architecture that means two dimensional input with one node for the bias term in the both the layers so the parameters are as follows they have given two parameters right alpha matrix and beta matrix right so they are asking using sigmoid function as the activation functions at both at both the layers the output of the network for an input of 0 0.8 comma 0 0.7 will be what the, we have to give the answer up to four decimal places it is if you clearly observe the options except the none of these option uh, you have they are given all the four up to four decimal places right so actually i have done this solution so when i did this so i have got the answer as some at one point i have got a 0 0.81 guys actually 0 0.81 and sometimes it also got 0 0.8 eight four like that but not exactly this or not exactly this so definitely i think uh, if you go with exact one i have got none of this but if you can uh, round it off then definitely it could be in 0 0.8s only so i'm not exactly sure to go uh, which option so please uh, choose uh, what you feel guys so here in particular I am going with the sixth option I am not exactly sure whether this could be the one because I have got very near value right so uh, approximately I am going with this value so now uh, guys if you got this exactly please message in the comment section so that our viewers can be able to correct that now let's move on to the sixth question guys so sixth one if the step size in gradient descent is too large what can happen so before getting into this so this solution i want to make a small announcement guys so we have already collected nearly 600 mcqs guys from the previous years assignment solutions so nearly 600 mcqs guys for just 500 rupees only so no one will provide this many mcqs guys only our channel is doing that 600 mcqs you will get for just 500 rupees only so for mission learning course so the exam preparation mcqs in the previous year uh, mcqs so with nearly five years of experience in mptl we have collected these solutions guys uh, for every question almost for every question question and answer there will be appropriate explanation also provided guys so for just 500 rupees only and access will be given up to five members guide not one member up to five members can use this with the same price if you purchase as a group for 500 five members of your group can get this 600 mcqs each guys so the validity will be till the exam day even if the exam date is postponed also we will give, we will extend the date guys no problem with that and such option is also available guys you can search any question you want no need to uh, search all the pages right and it is also easy to revise because it is a pdf you can easily scroll right so we will give a google uh, drive access link guys google drive link so that we will add your emails into that drive link so that you can watch all the pdf pages so it's a google drive link you will, your mail will be added to a google drive link which contain the pdf so you can uh, uh, learn those mcqs till the exam day guys so already many students have taken our pack so hope you will be joining that list so if you want to purchase that just what you have to 
so if you want this please email to this email id guys so this is the email id of our channel bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so you can mail me to this email id guys so if you want to purchase this so here totally you will get almost 600 mcqs guys for just 500 rupees only for other subjects we are not providing 300 uh, 600 mcqs we are providing only 300 but for mission learning course we are providing 600 previous year mcqs guys so for just 500 rupees only and up to five members can access that guys for this same 500 rupee for up to five members can use that so no extra money needed guys so validity is till the exam day guys and such option is also available and it is also easy to revise so do remember guys this is the email id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com you have to message me for purchasing guys so that's it now let's get back to the solutions so sixth question if the step size in gradient descent is too large what can happen so for sixth question the probable answer is we can reach maxima instead of minima so mark option three guys this is the probable solution that i have got now let's move on to the seventh question guys so seventh one on different initializations of your neural network you get significantly different values of loss so what could be the reason for this guys so for seventh question the solution that i have got is fourth option guys multiple local minima multiple local minima now let's move on to the eighth question the eighth question guys now the likelihood l theta x is given by what what is the formula for likelihood l theta by x so indirectly they are asking the probability right so for eighth question the probable answer is second option guys p x theta So second option is the probable solution for 8th question that I have got. Now let's move on to the ninth question guys. So ninth one. Why is proper initialization of neural network weights important? So for ninth question, the probable answer is to ensure faster convergence, convergence during training. So first option is the probable answer that I have got guys. Now moving on to the uh, moving on to the tenth question and the final question of the assignment that is tenth question right. So which of these are limitations of the back propagation algorithm? So before moving into this answer, I want to once again make you remember. So this is the email ID guys bk179417 at the rate gmail.com. So I have already given that in the description box as well as in the comment section. You can message me to this email id if you want to purchase the 600 mcqs pdf access guys. You will get a google drive link as I said 600 mcqs which we, which is worth just 500 rupees only that too up to 5 members can access the same pdf guys for just 500 rupees only that means individually you are spending just 100 rupees right but you have to form groups you have to buy the full pack guys for 500 rupees and you can share that price individ uh, individually among yourself but you have to form group or you can directly buy find with 500 rupee only guys so validity will be till the exam day so that's it guys now let's get back to the last question so the last one which of these are limitations of the back propagation algorithm so for 10th question i have got as all these three options guys that means option 4 all of the above could be the probable solution 
so friends these are the probable solutions for week 5 assignment of machine learning course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel and definitely like the video guys if you got benefited through us then definitely like the video don't go out without liking the video and please share that with your friends classmates and within your whatsapp student groups and make it spread as much as possible as wide as possible so that every student will get to uh, know this our channel and uh, they watch our videos and if you like the video then uh, our videos will be appear in the suggestions for many of the aspiring students so hope you do that guys and if you want this exam preparation mcqs message me to this email id guys so you will get 600 mcqs guys so help other students also reach this video so that's it guys for this video already many students have taken our pdfs so that's it for this video guys so until the next video goodbye thank you